About five months ago, Craig County Sheriff's deputies and Benita police got a tip that a large amount of marijuana was being sold out of the home of a 73-year-old woman. When the drug task force served a warrant here yesterday, they found out just how correct those tips were. We've been looking at it for a long time, and we, we, we thought it might be it was a possibility that it could have been a, a big-time operation. On Monday evening, Benita police, deputies, and OBN agents raided this picturesque Craig County farm that is home to retired DHS worker Darlene Mays. Investigators thought she was a major player in the drug trade, but even they were surprised at what they found. Six pounds of marijuana, guns, and $277,000 in cash. It was an extreme wow moment. Venita Police Chief Bobby Floyd expected to find pot, but even he was stunned by the sheer amount of cash. We kept finding more cash, and it was so surprising. And it was surprising that it was just laying around. I mean, it was in closet underneath the bed, but it wasn't, it wasn't really hidden. We think we really put a big dent in the drug trade in Northeast Oklahoma. Sheriff Jimmy Souter believes Mays is a supplier not only to the Venita area, but also Grand Lake, Tulsa, and surrounding states. The forfeited cash will be split between the sheriff's office, police department, and DA's office. The money will be used to fight drugs. It helps with the equipment. It, it helps send my guys to, uh, to proper schooling. Um, we, you know, we do a lot of education, continuing education. And we really focus on, on drug interdiction. The bust was a result of a new partnership between those three agencies. They hope this is the first of many large busts they make together. By ourselves, we're, we can do our job, but when we're together, we're, we're really strong and efficient. Darlene Mays faces five different criminal charges. When asked if any other arrests could be coming, the sheriff simply said that this investigation is still ongoing. Reporting from Craig County, Casey Roebuck, 2 News works for you.